gentlemen, my name is Tammy Mashtaberti, and I help people who are busy and chaotic and overwhelmed to tame the chaos in their life using quick and easy spiritual tools. Yes, you can use spiritual tools and still be busy and have a crazy and chaotic life. And if you are looking for more information on that, go to tameitclass.com and you can, um, you can sign up for more info. Now, Clients come to me because, like possibly you, they are busy, they are overwhelmed, they're interested in spirituality, but have no idea how to either stay consistent or even begin to incorporate some of these things into their crazy and chaotic lives, right? We're talking about kids, working, careers, family responsibilities, crazy long to-do lists. And I tell them there are ways to do it. I know because I have figured it out for myself and now I teach other people to do it. So again, for more information, go to tameitclass.com. Now, what I want to explain to you here and what I want to talk to you about is my tip for setting up your day to be a little less chaotic, right? Before we can reach those goals of like communicating with our guides or getting signs and synchronicities in our life or manifesting what we want, all of these things, you have to tame the chaos. And it starts by taming your mornings. Now, before you click off and say, oh no, Tammy, uh, my morning is crazy. From the moment my eyes open until the second my exhausted body flings itself into the bed at night, I'm going. So don't talk to me about something that's going to take me time in the morning because I don't have it. I feel you. So it's funny because the other day I was listening to somebody talking about the scientific research behind how you start your day and how it makes a difference. And this person was saying, you know, you should really dedicate 10 to 30 minutes of your morning to you, to your dreams, to a spiritual practice, etc. For many of us, 10 minutes seems like a lot of time, right? This is about baby steps that will produce big results. So I don't want you to think, oh my gosh, I don't have 10 minutes. I can't get up earlier. I'm exhausted, Tammy. What I want you to do is take one to five minutes from when your eyes open to when you get out of bed. One to five minutes. This will help you before the kids get up and you have to get them to school or before the crazy day starts, before you put the news on that bombards you with information, right? Before all of that happens, you can set your day up to be less chaotic. So what are you gonna do in those one to five minutes? All you have to do is Close your eyes, surround yourself with some white light, and ask for help. Call in your angels. Call in whomever you, you work with, whatever you believe in the universe, spirit, and ask, please help me to be protected today from taking on stuff that's not mine. And please help me to be able to handle all of the stuff that comes my way. You can close your eyes, you can say a prayer, you can think of a couple of things that you're grateful for, whatever you wanna do to fill that one to five minute that will set you up and center you. So you can repeat the word release, you can repeat the word I am connected, you can you know repeat something that means something to you. Again, you can call in and ask that extra help, You know, ask and you shall receive, but if you do not ask, you shall not receive all the time. Um, so I want you to just try the next day that you're after you're watching this, open your eyes in the morning and say, wait a minute, I'm going to center myself before I even get up and deal with the drama. And I only have to take one to five minutes to do this before I get up. Because if you lay in bed and ruminate about all the stuff that's going on or all the things that you have to do that day or all your worries and all your fears, or if you fly out of bed and immediately go into chaos mode, You've set yourself up to carry that through. So you can take one to five minutes in your morning to make a difference. Everything I teach is about these small little tools that build on one another. And then all of a sudden, hey, life is not as chaotic. Wait a minute, I'm not reacting the same way to things. I'm actually feeling calmer. Other people are asking me what I'm doing because I'm different. That's how it works. So again, more information, go to tameitclass.com. And thank you so much for being here. If you've enjoyed this, type in below. Give me a heart. Give me a thumbs up if you're going to agree to try this exercise. Share it with someone. Tag someone who you think can benefit from this. 
and I will see you next time.